Some people might say that I have way too much RGB in my setup, and you are absolutely right. I have way too much RGB in my setup. I think the last time I counted it, I think I have about 25 lights in my setup. Uh, most of them controlled by Google, which is great, but that's besides the point. That's my problem to figure out in life. Today, I'm gonna be adding to that problem by unboxing and installing the Nanoleaf lines. Uh, I can't believe that I'm actually saying this. We are working with Nanoleaf. They didn't pay me to do anything. They just send these products out to check out to add to my setup. This right here by itself costs around $180, which some might say that's a little too much for lights. I think by the end of this video, you're gonna be convinced that these are worth the price tag, just like I'm about to convince myself because I really want them to be worth the price tag. Obviously, I have no idea if they are or not. Right here, we have the Nanoleaf lines nine pack. This sells around $200, 180 when it's on sale. And right here, we have four expansion packs, which makes it extend three lines per pack. Each pack sells around 50 to $60. And I actually asked them to send four more of the expansion packs because I actually wanted to build this design that I had in mind where it's like, starts on the wall and then goes to the ceiling. And that's why they also send these boxes right here. These are connectors. They're gonna help us connect the nano leaf lines from one wall like this to one wall like that so they can go like this. My plan is to install all of this above my coding setup and expand it above my gaming setup kind of to connect both setups together. I am not 100% sure what the final result is gonna look like, but I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like. Without further ado, let's unbox everything that we got over here and then start installing it on my wall. Before we open it real quick, I just wanna talk about all these really cool shapes that they put in the back here. That's actually really nice. I didn't know they give you ideas of what you can build it out. But the nice thing about an Nanoleaf, they work with every single smart integration that you can think of. Apple HomeKit, Google Assist, Alexa, IFTTT, uh, work with smart things and Razer Chroma out of the box. And they have a built-in app, obviously. So uh, when it comes to integrations, they don't lack on anything. They work with everybody. Uh, let's open it up. Pretty standard packaging, nothing uh, special here. Uh, let's see, look at that. When you open it, you get this nice thing. So in the box, you obviously get the lines, which honestly, they are way thinner than I thought that they were gonna be. I don't know why I thought they're really, really thick, but you can see this is the line, not too thick. Get the power brick, which is pretty beefy, and it comes with like the power adapter that's just not built in. I don't know why, I guess maybe if you switch countries, you can change the power adapter to the country that it works with. I'm not really sure. Couple stickers, which is nice. I think this is like the controller that the power plugs into, and then you can change the settings from in here if you don't want to use the app. You get the covers, the... Ah! You get nine connectors in the box, which all the connectors is, is the hexagon that has six outputs. Basically one for input for the light, and then one output to basically transfer the light from one line to the other line, and then you get a cover for each one of these. Obviously, as I'm installing it, I'll show you guys more details. This is the cover. This is the actual connector. The lines go in each section right here. This is how the actual connector looks like and the cover right here and there's a pre-installed adhesive on the back of the connector which is super nice here's something that's actually really cool on that paper that you get at first and the back they give you like ideas for designs that you can make over here which I think that's super nice. I like companies don't provide this and you have to figure out like what light design do I want? Which one would look the best in my setup? That's pretty much all that's in the main box. Let's open up the expansion packs. I mean, I'm not expecting it to be anything fancy. As you buy the expansions, they could tell you how many you would need for each of the designs they put on the expansions. I wish the expansions had more than three, honestly. An idea. So three more expansions. This is just basically connectors, I think. This is basically a connector where you can connect the lines with a separation in between. So if you're doing walls like this or multiple walls, it comes with three connectors. I have 21 lines total, so I think I need the power brick. I'm not really sure. We'll figure it out as we go from here. And the last package that we got right here. But without further ado, let's get started on the install and see how it goes. First thing we need to do in my setup is take everything apart. Honestly, I love the way my setup looked right there, but I wanted to add these nano leaf lights. I plugged the lights in the back and then connected the controller and put the first spot on the wall. And right off the bat, you can see how bright these guys are. The design I wanted in mind is like this thing going up and then it just mirrors it up top. So I started building it and I quickly realized that I was not aligned well. So I had to take some of the lines off and realign them. So learn from my mistakes and don't do what I do. I started building it and honestly, building these things is super, super easy. And as soon as I started getting to the top of the wall, I realized I should have started from the top to the bottom and then i needed to add this extra power over here because i'm going to be using 21 lights so i need more power you don't necessarily need the power but if you want 100 percent brightness you need to do it and then it took me a little bit to figure out how it's going to look mirrored and i have to say that these lights are way brighter than i expected them to be and the rgb is extremely seamless which is something that's like obviously high quality 
So far, the installation was easy, but when it came to actually adding the device to my app, it, that was a pain in the butt. And I'll explain a little bit more about what happened there. It was simple, download the NanoLeaf app, create an account, and then the only way to actually add the device, you have to use the built-in home kit from Apple or Android, whatever version that is. You have to scan the QR that's on the back of the product or type in the code that actually came with it. They give you a piece of paper with a code on it or a QR that you can read. And that's the only way to add it. But for some reason, my phone was having issues, but then I was able to add it. And now the fun begins. These lights are so, so bright and they look really, really good. The app itself is super, super nice, super smooth to use and really easy. Like the interface and everything about it is easy to use. Modifying each line or each part of a line, you can split it into two is really, really easy. As you can see right here, I was just testing and looking around all the options that are available. You can create, duplicate, save profiles and do so many customization that this app allows you to do. I think it's super, super clean. Uh, so the app gets a W for sure. <sighs> it's about an hour and a half later. Everything about these lights is amazing, except setting them up in the app. Let me elaborate. Installation wise, like you guys saw, super, super easy. Like you just connect one spot and put the cover on and you're done, right? The biggest challenge when the installation is happening is figuring out the design and measuring where you exactly you want it to look. So it fits perfectly and it looks the best in your setup. So do that. Don't do what I did off of the back of your hand, set it up and see if it works or not. I did that way. It works. Obviously it looks really good in my setup, but if you're putting in your setup and you're watching this video right now, make sure to measure and figure out exactly where you want it and how you want it to look off far of the wall. So you don't have to redo things. Some of the lines moving around like I did. So installation, super, super easy. Like I mentioned, setting up the app was a pain in the butt. Uh, and that could be because of the unit that I got. That could be of something. Uh, they, you have to set it up via the home kit or via the home app via iOS, uh, which for some reason, for the love of, I don't know what, it would not pull up my, my device. I had to reset the device via a pin, put the pin in the actual like controller, had to reset it. Then it would show up in my home kit as I'm adding it. Uh, and then it kept failing on adding, kept on failing. And then randomly out of the blue, it just worked. And I don't even know why it just worked and it added and now it's working. And then I lost connection a little bit later and then it came back on. And ever since it's been working just fine. So that whole experience took about 20, 30 minutes to actually add the device to the app was driving me insane. And again, that's not anything to say about, about the product or the integration It's just to say that maybe my unit was having issues in the beginning. Now it's all good. Maybe they should have not used the home integration thing to actually set up the app or just use Bluetooth like every other freaking RGB lights that exist on earth. But so after adding the device to your app, all cool. Yeah, you can add it to Google. You can add it to Siri. You can add it to mother cracking Alexa. It's all great, right? That's all awesome. The best part about the app is all the things you can actually do with the lights. Um, it is beyond any other app I've ever used. I've used Govi, which Govi is phenomenal, right? They let you do so many good things, but the NanoLeaf has so many built-in modes that are incredible that you can edit, that you can copy, that you can do so many things. Creating and customizing the NanoLeaf lines is super versatile. You can do so many things. I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many things you can do. Customization-wise, there's nothing like it. I haven't seen any other app. I guess the question comes down to this. Are the NanoLeaf lines worth it? Like, are they worth the $200 that you're gonna spend on getting nine of these lines? If I'm being frankly honest, based off of me reviewing other lights that I've used, like for example, I've used the Glide from Govi and the Hexagons from Govi, um, and those cost between $100 to $200. I think I would choose these at $200 over the Hexagons from uh, Govi just because they're so cool and super super unique and the patterns that you can create with these things are beyond anything that you can think of uh it's just it's cool i i think it's really cool and my plan for mine right here is in between each one of these like gaps right here i'm actually going to be putting uh, a lac shelf from ikea the small ones and it's going to look super super cool so it's going to be lit up from the bottom on the top right here and uh but overall other than the experience of adding the product to my uh freaking app which was annoying. Obviously, I'm still aggravated talking about it right now. Everything else was great about a product. The lighting looks really good, better than any other lights in my setup. Hey, Google, nano leaf off. But that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're interested in picking up these nano leaf lines, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can check it out for yourself. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments or things that I missed about this product. I'd love to hear your opinion. And uh, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry that I'm holding a microphone right here. It's pretty useless, honestly, because I don't even think it sounds good. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.